Hello guys, it's Eddie with you again today and today we have a little tuning in our mind. Uh, one of our friends, colleagues, has purchased a new front grille, a GT style for his E-Class. The same one by the way with alloy wheels, so he's trying to pimp it out his own way though. So let me open the box, let me show you what's inside and then we're gonna start with the job. So. Let's see what we have today here. Unboxing. That's the best part about it, isn't it? It's like the boys early Christmas. Oh. Oh. Packed. Nice and soft. Look at this beauty. Is that, oh, no, we have, we have some clips as well here. Oh, we have even rivets in here. That's all we needed. Right. Let's get this stuff away. Not important. And look at this. A GT front grill. Well, GT style. Right. Here we go. Let's say this sign. That's going to come off from the old one. We have some clips here. Let me see quickly what's inside. All right. Well, we'll figure out where that goes. And rivets, because the old one is also on the rivets. All right, guys, let's get the car in. Let's get this baby up and remove the bumper and all the necessary stuff. Right guys, um, just before we're gonna install it, we've just figured out one more little extra thing here as an option, I believe. In the grill here underneath, I believe you can install a little camera, a front view camera or something like that, but that's already like pre-installed. Right, so that's the back end. And they also give you a little like a, I guess, a secondary option where you can just block it out and just make it, make it black. So that's what we're gonna do today because we did not plan to put any cameras inside. So let's do that first. That's it. Our construction is ready, so we just replaced this thing to this thing. And instead of having like a camera hole, let me turn around for you. Now we have just a nicely blocked out, very smooth here, with a bit of different color though. That's right. Right, so let's start putting it on, removing the bumpers and putting the rear on. Right. Let's get the stuff and get on with removing the bumper, I believe, first. Right? Let's go. I think I will need a little bit help today as well with this all this bumper removing. And I think the help will come from our loved car owner, Victor. He's the one who decides to change the grills and tune up his car. And so <laughs> he's the best and cheapest help. Cheapest labor. Cheapest labor. <laughs> I know, it can't get any cheaper than that, isn't it? Right. Gonna shoot slide, isn't it? 
And there's one more connector here. And that goes somewhere further down. So that's fine. So bumper off next, isn't it? Let's see what we need for that. First we need torch. Alright, plastic clips, plastic clips, plastic clips. 10 mil. If you come from the other side, Chris, you're probably gonna be able to show them as well. The actual clips. They're little like a pin clips here. There's one more here. And the 10 mil is right about above here. And that's the 10 mil. And what's there? That's another clip there. Lots of clips here. Right guys, all the clips and bolts and nuts are removed from this side. Make sure you do the same on the other side. And let's put the car up and remove all the bolts underneath. Right, eight mil screws underneath. We use a little hand screwdriver to make it go easier. Right, one. This one last one. And it comes down. Also, there is a, the same plastic clips which you see on the wings. They are one underneath on this side and the same story on this side. So you want to probably remove them as well. Right, guys, next thing, another 8 mil screw on both sides, one in here from this end and exactly the same on the other end. Right, next thing is two Torx 30 screws right up there and that connects bumper and wing. And same thing on the other side. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it. Easy. Right. Let's go to the other side. Right guys, next step. Uh, there is two plugs here. One is for the outside temperature sensor and that one is here. Just a simple plug, I believe. So, we should have checked it first, isn't it? Yeah, just a little push in and pull out. And the other side here, that's for all the parking sensors. If you can see this. All right, so that should be pulling out. Sorry, like this, push on it and hopefully it will come out. Ta-da! That's it. Right, next step we have to put the car down because all the other connections are going to be on the top. So let's lower the car. Right guys, next one is a 10 mil screw just here on one side and the same on the other side. That's the next thing to remove. So let's do that. Right, next one will be these little uh, I don't know, funny clips. That's all I can say. Right, try to slowly, gently ply them. Most likely we have to do that a little synchronization as well. Let's see. There we go. A little bit here. Let's go a little bit back. All right, one side is off. Let's try to do this one. There we go. And third one, 
popped out. And voila. It's off. All right, guys, next step is to drill out the rivets. These are all factory fitted. If you have a look here, they're gonna be a little bit different style than the ones was given with it, but we'll show you later. So if you come around and I'll show you, there's six of them all together. So start from this corner. You have one on this edge, same on the other one, and then pull down this rubber. Just It just pulls down very simply and you will reveal one here, one here, Continue, one here, one here, and one on the other end. So six all together. So let's drill them out. One. Uh, guys, when you drill them out, try to save those little aluminium heads. I will show you later on when we're gonna install the new one, why you will need them. Bing, bing, bang, bang, bing, bing, bing. Right, next thing is those little plastic clips here. Um, you will see there's like a little stopper here. If you want, just bend that little stopper a bit up, upwards. And yeah. this one here, it's fairly soft. So pull it like this and try to ply it off. That's one. And that's two. And same on the other side. The next step is removing this little plastic poron. There is a little pipe here. So make sure you remove that first. That gives you the freedom. And then this one is on the little plastic side clips on the here, but that just, just ply them away. And it'll come off. And that will reveal you the bottom clips for the grill. Uh, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So let's do them. All right, next thing, there is little clips. The same one what you have in the wing, like blue pins them off get them off right and then we can go on with here it's gonna be the same like on the other side the same clips to remove this top cover right, right and the last two clips on each end is this one's in the middle here and you just ply them off like this one side and the other side and the last but not least is the little clips all the way around here to release the grill. So let's remove them. All right guys, next step is removing the outside chrome by two screws here, T10 on each corner. One on this side, tiny little screw, and one same on the other side. That will reveal the chrome off, and then there is another two rivets underneath, which you also have to drill out. So that's gonna be our next thing to do. All right, guys, we just noticed there is another two screws, which we missed. That's the same T10 for the same chrome panel, and they are in these two holes here. So one on this side and one on this side. So we're gonna remove them as well. <laughs> Prank. <laughs> our one is missing, actually. <laughs> Right. right, next thing to remove these little fixing points to fit them on the new one, all you do on one side here, you'll, fit, you'll see like a little clip on little plastic edge, just lift it up and they will just slide out. Do the same with all three. That's it. Save them for later. Right guys, we got the chrome off. Um, it will take you a bit time though, right? All these clips, which you will see here, every single home one, you just have to go with the screwdriver, with your fingers and gently 
pushed them in, plied, and one by one, just start releasing slowly, slowly, all the way around. So whatever you see a silver clip from this side, anywhere pointing out, they all have to be bended inwards and the chrome bit will come out. All right, so let's continue. Right, the next step is to remove the last four rivets on this edges here. One, two, three, and four. Don't forget to save the heads. Right, when the rivets are removed, you go turn the bump around and remove the long weighted grill. Right, let's replace it now. Right guys, here we are, that's the new grill. So all you need to do now is do everything in reverse. Put it all back together, don't forget all the rivets. You have four in the front, six after on the top. Make sure we put back all the little T10 screws and uh, just let's get going. Right guys, just to explain to you why we needed those little off cuts, what we have left, the round ones. Let me show it this way, right? These ones. So as we're putting two plastics together, we want them to kind of be nice and strong and not to break the plastic. So when you put the river through on the other end, you put this one and use that as a washer pretty much. You put it in here somewhere in the middle. And then once you start tightening the whole thing, then that will be like a washer from the other end and it will be holding it nice and tight all together. Right, so let me show you how it's done. In, and then the washer from the other side. If you can come around and I'm gonna try to put it on, you just put it on there. So that's gonna stay here as a washer. And once you start tightening, then the whole thing will just gonna grip it properly together. guys that's it um job is done just literally the last thing to do is the little chrome bit that's it job is done
car is ready to go. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time.